Hi, it's Keith from Hometown Fitness, and in today's video, I'm going to give you my top 15 tips for training in hot weather. So, off we go with the first one at number one hydrate as soon as you wake up in the morning to get ahead of the game. So, good thing to do is get yourself a glass of water or pint glass, keep it to the side of your bed. So, when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do, chug down that glass of water, start the hydration process off straight away. Start as you mean to go on, that's the best thing to do. It's also a good thing to have sort of like for during the night, if you wake up during the night, as I often do, sometimes feel a bit dry and you can just have a few sips and just helps to moisten the lips and stop you from feeling so dry and dehydrated. So on to number two, increase your water intake and then drink steadily or more frequently. So just as it says, just keep making sure that you're basically drinking all throughout the day, nice st and steady pace. Don't have to chug down pints and pints and pints and pints all in one go. Just make sure you keep it nice and steady throughout the day to keep yourself well hydrated instead of like going too long in between because that's when we do start to get dehydrated. So on to number three, we want to make sure that we're wearing breathable clothing. So don't wear anything too heavy. Just wear things that are nice and light. Wear shorts and t-shirt. A good idea is to wear things like football tops, like this kind of material like I've got on here. So on to number four. Drink a decent sports drink, which contain electrolytes. These also provide potassium, calcium, sodium, and magnesium. So these will also give you an extra energy boost. So again, that's just another way that we can help to increase basically all the, the vital like vitamins and minerals that we have here, but also the fact that it brings up the, the salts within the body and just makes sure that we are going to stay nicely hydrated so it's a good way to definitely top up if we finish the session or even during the session keep those electrolytes sort of flowing into the system helps to stay well hydrated so in at number five i've got increase your rest between sets so when it gets a little bit too hot when you're training it can feel like it, it takes a little bit longer to, to gather your breathing back to normal again so just think about the pacing of your workout don't think that, oh no, I have to keep to that rest interval, you know, I must, I must, I must. No, be sensible about it. It doesn't matter if you're taking that little bit of extra time, gather your breathing, steady it, and slow and steady wins the race in this anyway. So at number six, I've got have smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day. This helps to maintain stable blood sugar levels. So that's a good thing to do. You don't want to, again, like, like with the drinking thing, you don't want to go too long in between drinking. You don't want to do that with the meals either so this helps to stabilize the blood sugar levels so you don't get all the the big spikes in the dips we just it keeps it at a nice steady consistent level throughout the day so that helps to keep the hydration process high as well so on to number seven decrease your warm-up time temperature of your body is going to be up anyway so there's no need to go excessive on the warm-up Yes, it's a good idea to warm up and loosen up all the muscles and the joints, tendons, ligaments and in the different directions. Do that, but don't go overboard with excessive warm up because it's, it's just not needed. So on to number eight then. Train either earlier in the day or in the evening, avoiding the hottest parts of the day. So I think that is a really good one because if you're going to be training at like peak times during the day when the sun's at its most intense, that's going to make it so much more demanding to get the workout done than it is if you're going to be training a lot earlier in the day when it's cooler or again later in the evening so that's another top tip on to number nine avoid caffeine and alcohol these act as diuretics and speed up the dehydration process caffeine and alcohol they increase the need for your water intake so the more you drink of those the more water you're going to need to drink because as a diuretic what diuretics do is they force the water out of your system and then of course you've got to replace that water so what i'd say is avoid if possible but if you're going to have it have it in moderation okay so on to number 10 take a nice cool shower or bath after working out so that's a good thing to do obviously we want to wash anyway you should do unless you like stinking but <laughs> what i would say is if you have a nice cool shower or bath like i've said that just helps to bring that body temperature back down and it just helps you to feel a lot more comfortable and yeah it helps to refresh you and regenerate you so so on to number 11 eat fruit vegetables and salad which are rich in water content such as cucumbers cucumbers are 96 percent water anyway also good sources are apples oranges grapefruit watermelon watermelon's a brilliant one broccoli lettuce etc so 
this is just a, a short list, but getting in the fruit and vegetables, it does help to sort of get it in via nutrition, whereas you don't always have to drink it, or we don't, or we always think about drinking and making sure we're getting enough water intake, but there is water in our foods as well, so it's another way that we can get it in. So on to number 12, use a good sunscreen or sunblock when training outdoors. If possible, train in the shade. If you can train in the shade, then great. If you can't, then just try and make sure you use a good sunblock or sunscreen. And again, we, that's a good idea to have anyway, because we want to try and we don't want to get burnt. And the last thing we want is like skin cancer or anything like that. Okay, so on to number 13, wear sunglasses and a hat or baseball cap. It just helps to keep the sun off the face and off the head because obviously the, the head can absorb a lot of heat and especially if you're somebody who's maybe haven't got much hair and is bald, you, it's good to wear a hat anyway. So again, sunburn helps to protect against that. And of course, all the, the harmful rays that can come through to the eyes from the sun. If you're wearing your shades, then it just helps to look after your eyes and it helps to stop things like migraines and headaches. Okay, so on to number 14, this is for you runners out there. If you insist on running a long distance, then find a route that you can do laps in order to have scheduled water breaks. So if you plan your route out logically and, and just do smaller circuit, but accumulate the same amount of miles. But if you've got to do a few laps of it, so be it. It's better to stay safe, have your scheduled water breaks so you can get two or three or however many laps it is you, you would do to accumulate the same distance. And if you were to run on your own, what is a good idea is if somebody's there, you can have that as kind of like your checkpoint. So for safety reasons, it's a good idea to do that. Okay, so on to the last one, number 15, kind of ties into the last point I just made anyway, but don't train alone or without other people to hand. So it's great if you've got a training partner, you can keep an eye on each other, that, that's fine. And obviously if you're going to a gym, that's great. But if you're training at home, in your own home gym, then maybe in a garage or something like that, and you're on your own, just let people know in, in your home that that's where you're going to be so that they can come and keep a check on you and they know where you are so if you've been any sort of like length of time then they can just check in see if you're okay so basically the take-home message for today is just to look after yourself when training in very hot weather intense weather like we have here in the uk at the moment we've got a weather warning it's very hot we've got a massive heat wave at the moment we just want to make sure that we're looking after ourselves letting others know as well of our whereabouts staying well hydrated, keeping our nutrition on point and keeping ourselves cool. If you'd like to subscribe and maybe smash a like, then I'd be more than grateful and I'll see you in the next one.